All right, today we're going to test and review the Sky Blue SB30. This is a dedicated VHF only outdoor TV antenna. Out of the box, this antenna is pretty much fully assembled. All you have to do is unfold the elements and lock them in place and attach the 75 ohm coaxial transformer. This antenna is a very well built TV antenna. The elements use a larger diameter tubing than you normally see on outdoor antennas. The finishing on the ends is nice and neat. The crimps, the folded dipole is neatly formed. The finishing is outstanding on this antenna. The powder coating on the boom, it's an elliptical shape that makes it nice and rigid. The mast clamp looks like it's heavy duty with a larger diameter U-bolt. Overall, an excellent build quality to this antenna. This antenna uses a traditional 75 ohm transformer balen, although it does have longer wires, which is a good thing. However, it should be secured to the antenna boom with either zip ties or electrical tape, and you should also secure the coax cable you connect to it by taping it to the mast. That way you avoid any strain on this connection here. Even though this traditional 75 ohm connector is a tried and true method for connecting coax cable to a TV antenna, other Sky Blue models actually use an integrated 75 ohm connector. I think that's something they should look at adding to this model as well. Size wise, this is a small outdoor TV antenna measuring 29 inches long, 33 inches at its widest point, and only four inches high. To test the signal strength readings of this antenna, I have it mounted on a mast 17 feet in the air. It's pointed in the direction of my local broadcast towers. I'm about seven miles away from the broadcast signals and all the stations in my area transmit on the VHF band. So this is really an ideal spot to test this antenna out. Taking a look at the signal strength readings, RF channel two CKPR, right at the bottom of the low VHF TV band. The signal, I would describe it as marginal, kind of hanging around the mid to high 40s, touching 50. The good thing is, is this antenna was able to hold this channel without any pixelation, but it's also right on the threshold of dropping out if there's some kind of signal interruption. The other thing to remember is, is that low VHF TV channels typically require antennas with much longer elements, and this antennas kind of small to pick up low VHF stations reliably. Another low VHF TV channel, RF channel 4, CHFD, did come in with a better signal, actually a pretty good signal for this channel, somewhere in the 60s, mid 60s. That's pretty good, especially considering this is a smaller antenna, but RF channel 4 has much shorter wavelengths compared to RF channel 2, so that's probably why it fared a bit better. And finally, RF channel 9 TVO. This channel is no longer offering electronic program guide information with their broadcast signal. I don't understand that. It's just kind of an annoying pet peeve of mine. But anyways, you can see the signal here is excellent. This antenna is picking this channel up with a very strong signal anywhere in the mid 80s and even up into the low 90s. So that tells you this antenna is definitely dialed in for the high VHF band especially. Even though the SB30 was mediocre on low VHF channels, the signal strength on channel nine shows that this antenna will perform very well on the band that it's designed for, high VHF channel seven through 13. If you're looking for an antenna specifically to improve reception on those channels, then you might wanna give the SB30 a closer look. Because of its design, I think the SB30 would be a very good FM radio antenna as well. The SB30 is designed for high VHF channels 7 to 13, and therefore it's not likely that you're going to put this antenna up as a single solitary antenna. It's probably going to be an add-on or a secondary antenna to enhance VHF reception to go along with your main antenna, which probably is designed for UHF and possibly high VHF channels as well. But if you have any stations in your area transmitting 
on RF channel 7 to 13 and your current antenna is not picking them up very well, then adding this one in will probably enhance VHF reception if you're within 30 miles of the broadcast towers. When you combine two TV antennas, you have to use a device such as an AB switch, a diplexer, or maybe something more sophisticated like the Televis SmartCom to seamlessly combine those two antenna signals into one coaxial cable. Based on its size and performance in my tests, I would say the SB30 would be a good city or suburban reception antenna for VHF channel 7 through 13, 30 miles at the most. If you live further than 30 miles from the broadcast towers, you probably want to look at getting a larger VHF antenna with more elements. Sky Blue does have other VHF antenna models that can help with longer distance reception, such as the SB31. I reviewed that antenna. I'll put a link for that video in the description. They also have the SB32. There's other VHF models on the market as well. But in any case, if you're further than 30 miles from the broadcast towers, if you're in a far suburban or even rural or deep fringe reception area, you're going to need a larger antenna with longer elements. There's no way around that.